This is turning out to be the year of Mordecai Richler in Montreal. The acclaimed author died more than a decade ago, but until recently there was little to honour him in his hometown. Then this spring he was declared a citizen of honour, and fittingly a library was named for him. Now one of his iconic characters is set to sing out from a Montreal stage thanks to a famous Richler fan. Jeanette Kelly reports. To obtain a fresh start for a place in the sun. It took a long time to get Dodie Kravitz, the musical, onto a stage. Renowned composer Alan Menken actually wrote the score 30 years ago, before his Oscar-winning scores for Disney movies such as The Little Mermaid and Aladdin. Well, Dodie is a real, it's in a real adult book musical. Um, and so the, mo the moments take on much more um, nuance and subtlety than, than those other scores. The original musical did have a brief run in Philadelphia. That was back in the 1980s. Fast forward three decades, and Montreal's Siegel Centre gets a new director who happens to be a huge Alan Menken fan. It's almost too good to be true. You have a combination of Mordecai Richler's iconic novel, and then you're told about a musical written by Alan Menken and David Spencer. Something's got to be wrong if we didn't invest in it. And it's true, without land you're nobody. So the musical found a home, but there was still work to do. Dirty Kravitz is the story of a young man looking to escape his St. Urban Street roots to make it big. In 1974, the movie version of the iconic Montreal story put actor Richard Dreyfus on the map. But the original ending is quite dark. Go away, nobody. Something that doesn't work all that well in a musical. So they decided to change it. He's still an obsessed young man, but he's learned something. People who are jerks are people who haven't learned anything. Mencken spent time in Montreal with the cast reworking his original songs. It's another kind of accomplishment um, and another kind of score. It's got a richness to it that I'm really proud of. Alan Mencken is happy with the result. I think you'll come away with a sense of, of also Mordecai Richler and his vernacular and, and the world that, that inhabits so much of his work. Mordecai probably, I think Florence said, would have gone, great, they're doing something, and then just headed back to his library and grabbed a drink. As for the creators, they hope the production will travel beyond the borders of Montreal. Like Dodie, they're dreaming big, hoping one day to take the show on the road to Broadway. Jeanette Kelly, CBC News, Montreal.